Hello and welcome to the final episode of Final Fantasy VII. Last time we explored a whole lot in this place. And this time... Well, I guess we're all meeting up one last time. So it would seem. Center enough, anyway. Mithril! Actually Mistile. Let's just get this over with. Alright, this is the last dance. A shield materia times two! And a remedy. Of course you would give me a remedy, Casey. Of course. A magic source. <laughs> oh, all right. Counter! Yeah, sure, whatever. So let's, uh, let's give that last source to Cloud, I suppose. And then we can prepare to go forward. Uh... Not quite yet. Actually, um, hmm. Can I, uh, hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, let's go. I hope it gives me the chance to change my party. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to do this with Tifa and not Sid, but, you know, if I have to take Sid, I have to take Sid. Look at the number. Oh? Monsters? Monsters. Indeed. Something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess we're being attacked by monsters from above or something? Or something. Yeah, give me Tifa. Uh... Let me redo my, uh... Please let me take my stuff from Sid, though. I mean, it's gotta do it. It's, it has to, right? I would have had no possible opportunity to do this before now. Okay. I need, You need to be using the premium heart. Uh, I want you to have that last missile that you picked up. And you should have a Tetra Elemental? Yeah, a Tetra Elemental. And then I need that stuff I put on Sid ahead of time. I need oh, I missed a spot on Barrett. I'll have to Whoops. Well what the hell should I put here? Hmm. I mean That seems kind of worthless. All of these seem pretty worthless. I could give him, like, Mug, I guess? But he doesn't need it. Uh... I don't know if this stacks with his existing counterattack chance. I could give him counterattack death blow though. I would just need to take off like a probably luck plus. I really wish I knew what luck did. You know, let's do that. Cover and go here. Um, speed can go there. Death blow. And counter. Okay, yeah, that should work. Uh, I do need to do this, though. Tifa is so much further behind than the, than these assholes. Ah, uh, this is gonna, that's gonna make this interesting. Okay. 
on the approach to the final showdown with with Sheferoth. We will have to fight a series of Iron Giants. These assholes! Fortunately, we have the power of really strong... of our ultimate Weepons, actually. Which should make short work of this asshole. Probably. Uh... You know what occurs to me? I actually should probably rearrange Barrett's materia so that he has more AP on his weapon. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, well, would you look at that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. J just a sec. Okay. Now, it's worth mentioning, I was un I'm under the impression that Master Materia still get to use their full AP value, but, oh, I guess it was more than just Iron Giants. Go figure. But I'm not actually... 100% sure that is correct. Um, I guess we'll find out. Pretty much. Oh, you know what? I should have put the death blow thing on Tifa because her attack fire scales with her limit gauge. Ugh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Well, it does kind of matter, but a cauldron? What the hell? What the hell is a cauldron? Uh, you know what, just... It's probably a battle item. Yep. Hmm. I really didn't put as much thought into this as maybe I should have. Well, I definitely want HP plus on you, and MP plus is valuable as well. I could get rid of Restore again. And MP plus, and then I can put the death blow combo on Tifa. Uh, you know, I'm just not gonna worry about it. My current setup should be sufficient. Almost there. Just a little bit further. Hmm. And we made it to the lowest platform. Where are we indeed? Oh! Oh, that looks a l very different from the Genovas we've encountered thus far. Oh, this is different. Okay, so, here are, there are several very important things that are going to be going on in this fight. Um, for one, let's start with the most obvious. Um, I, there are a few things I'm not going to be doing. First of all, we want to absolutely avoid casting Knights of the Round against Genova. Because when we fight Sephiroth, he will be more powerful if we use Knights of the Round against Genova. So don't do it! Second of all, we want to wait for Genova to uh, take 13 turns before we kill her. Okay, well, I guess that worked. Um, or, more specifically, before she goes into a pissy boss mode, right, which happens right before we would kill her, but 13 turns. The reason this is important... Uh, you know, I can totally attack those tentacles, though. Uh, I think... I can kill one of them for sure. <laughs> the reason this is important is because I'm trying to trick the game into thinking that I'm worse than I am. Um, there are three stages, there are two 
different battles coming up after this against Sephiroth. In the first stage, now in the first stage will be different depending on a few different factors. Um, you'll need to fight him as either one party or two or three. I want to fight him as one party. And the best way for me to do that is to wait 13 turns for Genova to act, after which it's that way by default because the game thinks you're bad to take so long against Genova. Um, normally, <laughs> ignoring, ignoring that condition, normally, <clears throat> for a one-party battle, you would need to have a, your lowest level character would need to be 34 or lower, not counting Aerith, uh, or your average level would need to be 53 or lower. And mine is above that. Or you need to not have Yuffie and or Vincent. So I have met all of those qualifications, so I need to do the 13 turn thing if I want to have a battle again if I want to have a one party battle. Se second of all, if you have two you can have a two party battle. If your lowest level character is level 44 or lower, or your average party level is 63. I qualify for that, for this. Oh, or if you have obtained Yuffie or Vincent, but not both. I qualify for this one, but I don't want two person, I want, I don't want a two party battle, I want a one party battle. Finally, if you have all of the levels, Uh, yeah. Finally, if you have all the levels, and you have Yuffie and Vincent, and you take two, and you take a short time beating Genova, then you do three battles. Uh, now I haven't been keeping a very close eye on how many turns Genova has taken. Um, I want to say it's around six, though. Let's kill the other ten tentacles. This will make it easier to keep track, at least. Oh, you don't have all. And they got back up. I guess they only do that when you kill the tentacles. Well, that's good to know. The Now, the problem is, I don't know if the tent... Do you know the synthesis... Okay, the tentacles must count, so I'm pretty sure it has taken 13 turns at this point. Because the thing is, I wasn't actually sure if they counted or not. Um, right, well, I feel comfortable enough to start laying into him now. Her, rather. Wait. Haha! Yep, that works. And she's dead. Just like that. Hopefully that was 13 turns, otherwise I'm gonna have a bad time against this next part. That AP is... Actually... I want to call it useless, but in fact it was not, because Mega All did level up, after all. Do you know if Synthesis isn't even that strong? There's really no reason to use, um, to use, there's the round against him, her, damn it. But there you go, I suppose. A light indeed. Is this... Holy? Oh, 
Well, everyone's here. It's Sephiroth. It seems he's sealed wholly away. We can do it if we try. Yep. Holy's there, right behind Sephiroth. We are, of course, gonna take Baird and Tifa, the two ones that we prepared ahead of time. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Yes! 13 turns! That's all it takes! Now, let's do it, Sephiroth. Holy's the pair of Avalanche of Marlene and Dime, of everyone on the planet! This is going to be interesting to edit after that break. So. So. This is Bizarro Sephiroth. And a whole lot of forms. We want to hit the head, but the head is protected by a barrier from this thing, I think? Oh, wait, no. Other way around. We want to hit the head. Or, eh. We want to hit the core. But it's protected by the barrier from the created from the other parts. Uh. Okay. To that effect, I should really probably be targeting the core, but you know, whatever. I want to kill the body. Really, it's only the last part of this fight that is really uh, hard. Oh, well, the head is back. Better hit that. Uh, what is it doing? Reviving the arms, I guess? Hmm. So, as far as I know, there are no restrictions on this fight that will make the fight after it harder. However, every time we kill the head, it will lose a small amount of HP. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Uh... Is that it? I didn't even touch the core. Wow. Okay, so... Truth alert, I have actually never fought this with a more than one party large battle. Um, yeah. Frankly, I wasn't that good the first time I did, or the f previous time that I actually fought this battle. And this time, obviously, I deliberately rigged things so that I wouldn't have to. Behold, Safer Sephiroth. The true final fight. I could totally finish you off with- oh! I don't think so! I have this just for you. 
Uh, and I guess I can use Regen as well. Let's also, not you, let's also throw a uh, big guard. Now I will say, truthfully, I'm not sure how hard he will hit. Because the only reference I have, well, he basically murdered me so bad that the only way I, way I could get through was to narrowly defeat him by spamming um, knights. I kind of want to try it without doing that. But, but, well, we'll see if we're successful. Uh... Just attack him. Plus... Gotta hear the angelic choir. Okay, you're probably out of reach, but fortunately, half of my physical attackers have long range. That didn't look like long range, though. Well, I could summon- I could- No, if I'm summoning something, I'm gonna be quad summoning Bahamut. Zero, so... Hmm. And I do have Final Summon Phoenix, so yeah, you know, I'm pretty happy with just doing it this way. If I'm in trouble, like if he KOs- manages to KO my whole party or something, that is what Final Attack Phoenix is for. And at that point, that is when I can just unload knights on him. So, this is Supernova. This animation is probably like a whole minute long. It's really freaking long. If there's any good argument for just keep finishing him off with freaking... Well, it's okay, it wasn't a planet anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Right. If there's any good argument for just finishing him off quickly, it's so that you don't need to watch this over and over again, because it takes so long. Oh, well, it just killed Jupiter. Now that one I care about. That is a planet. And what a planet. Yep, I'm pretty sure that is literally a supernova. Wait, did it go through the asteroid belt and then Jupiter? That can't be right. Uh, I'm probably gonna want to heal after this though. You cannot heal everyone. Unless I use Angel, or White Wind. But your White Wind is pretty subpar. Just because you have so little HP. I don't know. We need to see how much damage it actually does. Uh, okay, yeah. That was fairly significant. Uh. Let's unload the limit breaks. Wait, he's dead? I didn't even use any limit breaks on him! What the hell? Man. I was I must have been really bad at this. This last time I actually played all the way to the end of Final Fantasy 7. Although in fairness, Supernova would have party wiped me had I not had big guard up. Um so you know that's a thing. But yeah, we did it. And it was way... it was kind of disappointingly easy. Hmm. Well... You can't, have o you can't have OP builds and hard bosses, I guess. Well, that's not true. You can totally have that. It's definitely hard. But it's possible. Anyway. I digress. We did it. We beat Sephiroth. Now there's only one thing left to do. 
we freed Holy, which will presumably stop the meteor and hopefully not kill all humans. But at the very least, we've. But at the very least, we've saved the planet, and we did our best. That's for sure. Plunged into the world of Cloud's mind and possibly the life stream. All the way until we reach. Wormholes, apparently. Yeah, okay, I recognize that. That is totally the wormhole animation from Stargate. Uh, until we meet Sephiroth. For the true final showdown. One on one. Um, I can defend. Oh. Yeah, okay, he hits pretty hard. <laughs> Chief and Cat, we did it! Also, that ending is hilarious. <laughs> it's set up like that so he cannot possibly kill you. He'll hit you once and you'll always counterattack and finish him. However, the idea is that you use Omni Slash to finish him. Because even if you don't have Omni Slash, you have it for this one fight. However, I sat around and let him hit me so we don't get to see Omni Slash. Sorry. You've seen it before so I'm not too worried. And with that, we have truly heard Sephiroth of the life stream until Advent Children, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Is it? It's Tifa. Wow, look at those boots. Oh. Well, we seem to be alive for the moment, so you know that's good. I think I'm beginning to understand. An answer from the planet. The Promised Land. I think I can meet her there. Poor Tifa. Indeed. Right there, apparently. What <laughs> indeed? You're at the bottom of a freaking thing, massive crater. Uh, yeah, and as Holy comes up.
Oh, well, that's not good. It's the high wind. Uh, what? I thought that thing- I thought that thing was flying. I guess we parked it. I guess that works. <laughs> that is conveniently flush to the floor. And we're a rocket ship. Or a battle cruiser. Or some sort of plane. Definitely rocket powered though. Sid never fails to impress. This looks like calm. Wait, Marlene was in calm the whole time? If only I had looked there. I'm not sure... I'm not sure why this is coming down directly on top of Midgar, but... Whatever. Don't question it. Midgar is pretty much the center of the world, so... Eh. Oh, <laughs> and it is wrecked. But Holy has arrived. Perhaps too late. Is it not strong and powerful enough to stop Meteor on its own? What do you mean it's having the opposite effect? Like, seriously, what the hell does that even mean? It's seemingly not stopping Meteor, but it's certainly not making it any worse. It was already going to destroy the damn planet. of the planet's core. Itself joining ho with Holy and trying to save itself and quite possibly those on it from Meteor.
surely with the whole with the whole power of the planet behind it, Holy will be able to will be powerful enough to push back Meteor. Just like that, it's over. Also, no Vincent or Yuffie in the ending cinematic. Because they... Well, because they didn't know whether or not they'd be around, so they just played it safe and only did one. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. So, we it's over! We did it! Final Fantasy VII is done! And it feels good. This dragged on and on. Not even because I got bored of it or anything, just because there were so many periods where I couldn't where I legitimately couldn't work on it for one reason or the other. I mean, it took me nearly a month to just record these last four episodes. But it's finally done. I while I've been recording this, I've been thinking a lot about my commentary, and like trying to trying to look at what I'm doing now, what I what I've done before, and what's worked and not. Because if I look at Final Fantasy V, that was probably my favorite game to LP so far. I had so much fun doing it. The game itself was a blast, and and I think did a pretty good job of it too. And frankly, the view the viewership really shows it because Final Fantasy V has way more has picked up way more engagement than any of my other LPs. Um, most watched video. It's the very first episode of it, so that kind of says something. Uh. But I digress. We're not talking about Final Fantasy. We're not talking about Final Fantasy 7 minus 2. We're just talking about Final Fantasy 7 minus 0. So, as I was saying though, looking looking back, I think there is there's definitely some things that I could On the one hand, there's definitely some things with this that I feel I definitely could have improved on. Overall, in and in particular, I think I really need to get more organized with the information I want to present. I really started taking... I've taken some notes for RPGs before, but this is the first time I've really dedicated myself to it. Like, with more than one, it boiled down to reading an FAQ right beforehand and having it up on the other screen to occasionally look at. But the problem with that is, first of all, often those are not great for quick look at, looking at, and second of all, if it's not immediately on my screen, then I need to scroll through it and I need to pause my video. So I actually did the note thing for this, and I think that was really a really good decision. Although I do still need more practice at it, I think, uh, both for actually reading my damn notes, freaking magic counter. Uh, no, that's W magic actually. Uh, but also, but also, so that they're more informative to myself. At the same time, though, what I feel might I might have done with this one is I ended up getting a little too caught up in the mechanics as opposed to the story. And that's definitely the thing I'm going to be trying to work on more in the future. Because the mechanics are important, but it's the story that is the story that makes me want to actually play these games. And and also is probably what provides the best commentary. <laughs> but 
But even then, that is sort of a secondary concern. I mean, ultimately, this is a hobby, so the most important thing to me has to be what is most enjoyable to me. If what is most enjoyable to me is also better for the people watching me, then that is even greater. But... I don't know what I want to say. I, beyond that, I guess. In any case, it was really fun to just come back to this after quite a while. So, I mean, I'm not even sure when the last time I actually played all the way through this game was. I might, I was probably in high school at the time. Um, so quite a while ago indeed. But, I don't know. Maybe just sit here and listen to the credits? No, I want to actually talk. Um, actually, I sh this would be a good time to mention what I'm doing next. I'm not actually going to talk about what I'm doing next, though. Hmm. No, what, what I'll probably do is I have a little short thing planned between now and my next LP. So, I will probably just mention there more details about it. Um, however, do keep in mind it will not be Final Fantasy because I'm taking. I'm alternate. My schedule is alternating. Last time I did, like, Secret of Mana, I think. I stormed through that. That is not a good game. Uh, for, at least. At least I don't think it is. Then I do this. Next time is going to be something that's not Final Fantasy. Then we'll do come back to Final Fantasy after that. Probably Final Fantasy VIII, maybe Final Fantasy Tactics. But that is like, that's a ways off yet. Um, hmm. What else is there to talk about? Um, I guess I would have liked to have shown off the rest of the limit breaks, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, and I plan on trying to get some streaming going in the next month. The next month from now, so maybe, quite possibly, after this video has been released, if we're being honest. 500 years later. But if I get that running, I might try to do the Weebons on stream, that's why I mentioned it. So watch out for that, I guess. 500 years later. And Red 13 is still alive! Man, he he lives for freaking ever. <gasps> and he has cubs! Oh, that's adorable, but also raises a lot of questions. Where the hell did he find a mate? Kind of worried that he's tra how he's trailing smoke like that, but you know, whatever. And it is Midgar. Or what's left of it, 5,000 years later. A lot closer to the ocean now. Seems to be partially submerged even, and covered in trees. So one final thing to mention. Remember, it wasn't clear whether or not Holy would just stop Meteor or it would stop mankind as well. But I'd like to take the ending. How Cloud and his group escaped. That a planet saw Cloud trying to save it and decided to spare the humans. So it put it all into, si into stopping Meteor, and didn't stop the human race as well. This has been Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a good day.